Hi, Verbling. I hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Lauren, and this is an intermediate speaking class about an international story about Edward Snowden. So I'm not going to explain much because I actually I want the students to explain it um, in their own words. Um, I'm very interested in hearing what everyone's perspective is from different countries in the world because I'm from Canada and we're very close to the United States. And um, I'm really interested to hear your opinions on this issue. I would first like to apologize for starting class so late. I had a pronunciation class before and sometimes those go much longer than they should and that was my fault so I'm very sorry. Um, okay, Amparo, poor Amparo, how are you today? Hi, I'm fine, Hi. thank you. I'm good. Uh, Amparo, I just want to apologize for last no, class. No worries. I, I know. I have trouble at, at the beginning to, to load the, 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 the page. I don't know why. I have the observation, but um, then I lost the two minutes at the beginning. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Yes, I don't know why the, the page was with problems with me, so I have mm -hmm. to refresh and then it, it go frozen. <laughs> right, okay, good. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here now. We'll give you okay. lots of speaking time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. Um, and Anya, welcome back. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you too. Um, great. And welcome to Hamid. Hello, Hamid. Hello, Lauren. Uh, and I want to say I, I found one mistake when you're uh, writing for schedule. You wrote international, international. Oh, I mean, oopsies. Yes, I did. <laughs> I said internet, international. That's yes, not right. Not international. <laughs> <laughs> oopsies. Thank you so much, Hamid. You should start editing those for me. I have made mistakes many times on those. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, but, uh, but don't understand uh, my uh, correction wrongly. Pardon me? Don't understand me uh, wrongly because sometimes uh, I warn uh, some people. Some people uh, get angry uh, me. Oh, no. No way. Don't worry about that, Hamid. No way. Okay. No problem. You know, I, I don't... Uh, we In English, we say... Do you know what the word ego means? Ego? Yes. Angry? Like selfish. Uh, self yeah, yeah, like more like self esteem. Yeah, yes, we can. It's like when, uh, if I say I don't have much of an ego, th this is uh, an ego is more like, uh, like false self esteem, like maybe not real self esteem. Because if, if Hamid says, Lauren, you made a problem, you made a mistake in your class description you have a, what we call a typo a typo is when something is wrong in the way someone types a word and he says Lauren you have a typo and if I said well I, that was a mistake and I obviously know how to spell that word this would be my ego being challenged like oh no everyone's going to think I'm a bad teacher because I made a mistake so if I say don't worry, Hamid, it doesn't affect my ego. It means that my self-esteem is not so uh, fragile <laughs> as a or, teacher. Or if you say it is none of your business, uh, your ego is... Uh, Huge. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's none of your business, Hamid. You're just a student. <laughs> it's all of your business, so <laughs> exactly. But in okay. my opinion, uh, everybody is uh, both student and teacher. It's true. That's a great way to look at verbling. It's absolutely true. Totally. Um, okay, great. I'm just going to say hello to Nontawat. Welcome back, Nontawat. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I really enjoy. 
you really enjoy it. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm very glad. <laughs> Great. And welcome back to Rosal. Welcome back, Rosal. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Welcome back. Thank you. Nice You're welcome. See, see you again. Oh, nice to see you too. Nice to see you too. Um, great. And welcome back to Alberto. Hello, Alberto. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you today? Uh, fine, fine. Thank you. I'm I'm lucky. Why? Because I am in your class, and your class is always uh, full. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you yeah. can make reservations, Alberto. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I I enter uh, nowhere to go and it's full <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. I, I thought you were going to say you won the lottery or something. Yeah, I'm something lucky. like that. <laughs> I'm in small, I'm in small, and then yeah. I, I am here. Yeah, good. Um, I just want everyone to know, in the Hangout, uh, you know how there's a little green thing at the bottom of everyone's picture that shows that they are speaking? I don't have that. So I think I recognize everyone's voice, but if there is an echo, uh, can someone else please mute the person where the echo is coming from? Because I can't see the green line that shows me where the sound is coming from. But anyways, let's get started. Um, I'm going to ask Empato. Um, Empato, have you heard... Uh, does anyone hear that echo? Yeah. Where is it coming from? I know. It's... Hmm. Okay. Uh, if anyone sees the little green line when the echo is there, please, uh, yeah, please just mute that person. Okay, great. And thank you, uh, Alberto. Thank you, Alberto. It's, uh, I think the echo has stopped now. So, okay. So, uh, Amparo, have you heard about the Edward Snowden story? Yes, I live in Ecuador. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, please tell us your opinion and your perspective because that is well, so cool. Well, some people who are watching this may not know what is going on. So, why don't you explain it to us from your perspective? Uh, well, uh, the man asked for asylum in our country, so after that, the uh, United States uh, trapped us, we are and they are going to cancel the uh, some preference mm -hmm. in our, uh, with the business with our country. So yesterday, our president made the decision and to sh uh, cut the the treaty, the because treaty? he said, yeah, now what is going to treat us? So he said, we don't need your <laughs> uh, to be blackmailed. Right, we don't need yeah. to be blackmailed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he said, uh, we don't need anymore to have the the arrangement with United States. So. We have to find. Um, we have to find another country that um, pay for our products now, <laughs> because the relation is broken now. Yeah. Okay. So, I I don't know the latest news. Oh, I'm hearing a bit of an echo. So if you are not speaking, please just keep yourself on mute. Um, and oh, before I reply to you, Amparo, I just want to say welcome to Diego. Hello, Diego. Hello, Diego. Hi. 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 How are you doing today? Fine. And you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. So we are talking about the Edward Snowden uh, case. So uh, um, before I keep asking questions to Amparo. It, who has heard of the Edward Snowden, the international story? Just say yes. Who heard? Who has heard of him? I, I, uh huh. Okay, so I see Julian and Diego and Anya and Amparo, obviously. What about Alberto? Yes. You have you heard of Edward Snowden? Yeah, sure. Great, great. Um, and what about Hamid? I just saw only a uh, class description. 
Great. Okay, good. So please ask questions if you don't understand. Um, okay, and Nonta what? Have you heard of Edward Snowden? Oh, Nonta what? You are probably muted. There is a little red button right over here. Just press the red button. Is there a red button right here? No? Oh, because if oh, there is a... Yes, freedom. okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. That is called the mute button. Mute. Mute, okay. This means silence. Oops. Um, so, have you heard of the Edward Snowden case? Edward Snowden. Snowden. Have you heard of a he... man called Edward Snowden? Yes, I done. I don't oh, can no. you repeat that? Sorry, Nantawat, we couldn't hear you very well. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? No, no. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Nanta, what? We're going to teach you about it. Um, okay, what about Rosal? Rosal, have you heard about Edward Snowden? Actually, no. I no? Okay, great. So I think you will find this very interesting. Um, so Amparo, you, uh, we will go back and explain a little bit more, but Amparo, did you say that Ecuador said yes, Edward Snowden can stay here? Not yet, but uh, they were uh, waiting for the, any solution, but um, in order that the uh, United States um, trade that if Ecuador gave any asylum to Snowden, he he is going to they are going to cancel the negotiations with our country. So that is why our president said mm, no threat anymore, and we decide not to accept your conditions. We uh, we are free, and we are going to decide what we are going to do. So. Right. He, so he offered he offered to the United States to to in, <laughs> tra trade trade him in training in aid <laughs> in aid and uh, right humans <laughs> mm -hmm. because it's <laughs> the the same uh, amount of money that the uh, United States have we, uh, give up gave up for the Abdiya and GPS uh, pro, um, projects, Ecuador is offering to United States to, to to teach them how to to manage with human rights. Great, great, Amparo. Great. So Amparo is saying that. Ecuador is saying, you know, United States, maybe you can learn something from us. Yep. <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, let, can somebody please explain to me? Oh, sorry. No, tell what. I'm going to keep you on mute because we are hearing, we are hearing an echo from you. So, Nonta what? please mute yourself. Please stay on mute. I'm trying to mute you, but it's not working. Yeah, Nonta what? please stay on mute. Be muted. <laughs> okay. Um, excellent. So, can I get a volunteer to explain to me briefly, so maybe in just a couple minutes, who is Edward Snowden? Me? Great. He's kind of like in a minute. <laughs> oh, I'll get I'll get Alberto and then Diego. Yes, well, Alberto. You first, Diego. Right. Oh, Diego, go first. Um, Edward Snowden is like 
a spy that has some calls, secret calls of the CIA. Um, he installed microphones on some machine stuff, and well, he has confidential uh, information. And that's why in, um, the government is trying to catch him. And oh, he's interesting. looking for, for some country that uh, to uh, shelter. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good vocabulary to shelter him. We say to offer refuge. To offer refuge. All right. To offer refuge. That means to offer shelter. To let him live there. Right? Yes. Great. Okay, so Diego, there was just a couple details that are a little bit off. So, uh, Alberto, what do you have to say about that? Well, uh, uh, this guy, Snowden, uh, was a spy, yes, but uh, he, he relate, he, he told us uh, that, uh, that the American government and the British government uh, has uh, spied all the communications between all the people in, in the world. And uh, they they have uh, access to to this information, and and they uh, they choose what uh, what information uh, we we have to to use uh, for uh, for the the terrorism uh, fight or or something like that. Is mm -hmm. uh, is the the well. It's not the true. The the uh, I can I can know to uh, I don't know to how how I can uh, say that. But uh, it's uh, it's the, the explanation of the American government. But it's not the true. Uh, how can I say that? Uh, you you mean he is revealing lies? No, not not the revealing nice, but uh, the American government said that uh, the 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 cause of this is uh, the the fight uh, against the the terrorism, but uh, it's it's not the 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 true at all. So you can say, Alberto, that the government is denying. The government is denying. That this is no. the truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's it's denying because because they they said uh, that uh, it's because the the fight uh, against the terrorism. But uh, oh, okay, okay. So you can say they are defending themselves. Mm, yeah, yeah, defending right? them, Yeah, they are defending themselves, saying yeah. we have to do this because we are fighting. Terror terrorism. Yeah. Great, because Alberto. It, yes, yes. Uh, that's the that's the mm -hmm. thing. Uh, it's it's a excuse. It's an excuse. An excuse uh, used by the the governments, because the governments, uh, all the governments, uh, think that uh, information is power, and and then they catch all the information they they could. Uh, they could, uh, and and then they use it. It's exactly. Right. Yeah. No, no, exactly, Alberto. They, yeah. Okay, good. So, um, does anyone want to add anything to that? Uh, to who Edward Snowden is? Okay. Oh no, just anyone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to clarify. Uh, and, and thank you so much to all of you, uh, Amparo and Alberto and Diego, who have given us an introduction to who he is. So uh, especially for Rosal and uh, Hamid, um, 
Uh, and oh, I just want to say hello first to on uh, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Laura. Hi, welcome back. How are you today? Thank you. Fine, fine. And you? Excellent. I'm good. Um, and what about Gibran? Gibran, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great. Gibran, have you heard of Edward Snowden? Uh, no, I'm just listening. <laughs> good, good, uh, good. People. <laughs> That's okay. That's great. That's great. And what about you, Andrew? You, you know, I've just heard on the internet about him. He's a former employee. He's a former employee. Uh, he, he used to work for some national security organization, yeah, in England. Good. And uh, uh, United he, States. In the United States, okay. And uh, he's revealed some top secret information. Exactly. It, it's what it's what I know. And Good, he, Andrew. He, he mm, blamed uh, American. Um, uh, Fabi Fabi I for working with I don't know for working with U European secret uh, agencies and the scandal was uh, linked with some with, with some uh, ID uh, ID yeah identification. Identification, yeah. Yeah. Some num some numbers and something like that. Excellent. Good. Good. So I just want to um uh um summarize what everyone mm -hmm. has said so that everyone in class understands our topic. Um, in a nutshell, what does in a nutshell mean? In a nutshell. In a nutshell. In short. Ah, uh, in, in a nutshell. Short. So, oh, sorry, yeah, Huyan, you're correct. In short, so when I say in a nutshell, this means this is a big story that I'm going to make it smaller. So I will say it quickly. Um, the Edward Snowden so nice. is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Edward <laughs> Snowden is an American worker. He works for the National Security Agency, or the NSA. Typing it. So he works for the National Security Agency. This agency is a top secret agency. It means that if you work for this agency, this has many government secrets, and you cannot, by law, tell anyone about what you know about the government, okay? He decided, he found information that the United States government has been spying on people all in the United States and around the world, looking at their uh, text messages on their phones, on their Facebook, on their personal emails, internet sites, they have been basically going into their private uh, internet and cell phone information and spying on people. So um, I'm going to put this word in here. Spying. Spying means when you are looking at someone without them knowing. So um, it, and, of course, Americans did not know this. If people knew the government was spying on them, they would uh, be very angry. So Edward Snowden found out about this, and he told the entire world. So this is obviously really against the law, because he told the entire world top-secret confidential information. And he said, uh, everyone, the United States has been spying on its citizens. And he told people, "What does anyone know, what were his reasons for telling people? Does anyone know, what were his, what did he say 
his reasons were for telling the world about this. Does anyone know? To be a, to be a good guy. <laughs> to, what was that, Alberto? To be a good guy, uh, a good person. Well, totally. Exactly. Not the money, not the money or the... Or to be famous, uh, yeah, that's, it's... No. And what no. did you say, Hamid? I mean, uh, Amparo? The, the government said he is a traitor, but uh, he said that people have to say him a hero because we reveal that secret. Totally. That is at the heart of this issue. This is another expression. The central issue, the, the real problem, we, we say this is at the heart of the problem. This is the thing that keeps the problem pumping like a heart, right? That some people think he, ha he is a traitor. He has betrayed the United States. And other people think, no, he is a hero because he has revealed information and said his reason for doing it is to say, the people of America think they are living in a democracy, but they are not. And they should decide if the government is allowed to look at their personal information. They should decide, not the government, to do it secretly. Perfect. Um, so, Hamid, uh, y you wrote something in the chat, and I said, OMG, yes. <laughs> what did you say in the chat? His life is under the risk. Uh, I mean, uh, he revealed uh, top secret information. So uh, America, maybe his uh, America's uh, spies uh, try to kill him. That's what I think. I think that maybe that will happen. But if he is found killed, right? This would look very bad on the American government. But, uh, because but America uh, announced he uh, died with heart attack. This would, nobody would believe that. So, but, but, but you know, you you're know, right. You know, uh, uh, they, will lie, uh, they will tell a lie, but we won't uh, believe. But uh, problem is problem. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. We That is definitely a possibility. What is your first reaction, Hamid, to this, uh, to this news story? So he, he told the world this information, and then he went to Hong Kong, and China said, no, we will not protect you. So then he went from Hong Kong, and he went, where, where did he go after? Russia. Russia? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So now he is in Russia for maybe four or five days waiting in the airport, right? Yeah, in transition terminal in Sharmintina. Good. Okay, Anya. So, um, so he's in a transition terminal, you said? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Vladimir Putin told it in the some meeting. Mm -hmm. I heard it in a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So he is there and he is waiting to hear from Amparo's country, which is Ecuador. He is waiting for Ecuador to decide if they will um, offer him refuge. So everyone watch this. Offer him refuge. This means offer him shelter, offer him safety for the rest of his life because he cannot return to the United States or he will go to jail for the rest of his life. So he is looking for a country that says, we will protect you because we support what you did. And many countries are saying, we do not want to have a bad relationship with the United States, so we will not protect you. But w but where is he now? In Russia. In Russia. Ah, okay. I, I just said uh, he is in uh, Sheremetyevo in transition uh, terminal. Terminal, terminal. Okay. 
So he is sleeping in the airport because an airport is um, like not a country, right? It is not. Um, it is a transition area, no, it's, it, right? No, it's a country. No. It it's is. Country. But like, for example, Russia. For, for example, embassy. An embassy is not a country. Any embassy. Yeah. But airport is country. But it. But if you think of an airport. It has, let's say, duty free. Do you have duty free in yeah, your yeah, airports? Yeah. This sure. is because it is a strange international space. Yeah. It is not an embassy and it is not fully part of the country. It's very strange space. So that is where he is right now, waiting to hear from Ecuador. Um, okay, so. Um, I'd like to hear from maybe uh, uh, Gibran. Gibran, what is your first reaction to this news story? Mm. <laughs> uh, I have written a question for you that nobody of America can arrest him from airport. Um. From Russia airport. Oh, okay. When you ask a question, Gibran, Start with can. Mm -hmm. Start with can. And this goes, everyone should listen to this. When instead of saying nobody of America can arrest him from the airport, this is a statement. Mm -hmm. So this should end in a period. But if you start with can, like this, can nobody arrest him from the airport? Start with can next time, okay? Oh. Right, yeah. right. Good, good. Okay, so. Uh, I guess not. And uh, the United States has said we will not send people because... And what is the reason? Uh, the United States law does not apply in Russia. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is why criminals, criminals and, uh, from all Russia countries... Have, uh, pro hmm? And Russia have provided him uh, safety or security. Oh, Here not quite. Airport. Not quite. Uh, Anya, do you know more about that? Uh, what to, exactly? About what? Like, uh, so Gibran is asking, does Russia, is Russia providing safety for him right now? Or... Uh, no, uh, because he is in the airport and uh, nobody can uh, arrest him or uh, what is he doing uh, there in the airport? Like so many questions. It, if Russia, a of time. if so, Russia yeah. protected uh, him, he wouldn't be at the airport uh, right now. But uh, Russia isn't hurry up in this question. Uh, he's waiting for for Ecuador answer. And uh, I heard that uh, uh, Putin uh, is Russian government. Uh, he told that uh, they will not. I don't know this word. Uh, they will not. Uh, Mm, give him to USA. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They will not. We we have an expression. It means they will not hand him over. Hand him over. Yeah, that uh, uh, Russia will not hand him uh, his over because uh, they haven't a special agreement uh, between the USA and Russia in this question. Yeah. So if you. Uh, would be a citizen of another country. Uh, they, uh, Russia will uh, will hand hand him over. Yeah, but uh, they have uh, no agreement with USA of handing over this uh, such person. So you mean that uh, can Russia will hand over uh, this person to USA? No, uh, they will not hand him over. But they, there is a oh, very see. strange situation, Gibran, because Russia will not protect mm -hmm. him. Like they, they mm -hmm. have not said, yes, you can live here for the rest of your life and we will protect you. They have not said this. But they have also allowed him to sleep in their airport for a few days. But it's very He's simple. That a criminal or a person like such are spending uh, his days in an airport. 
like so many people uh, who attempt uh, these uh, type of activities and they were sleeping in an airport. <laughs> But Does that's the problem, Gibran. <laughs> so this is like Amparo brought up earlier. And you know what? Uh, I think next I'm going to ask Rosal a question and then Huyen. Um, what do you guys think? The, the, Gibran has brought up a good point. He says, but any criminal would not be allowed to stay in this airport. What's the problem here? Is he a criminal? Yes, he did something that the law said is not okay, but does the world consider him a criminal? Yes or no? American government considers him like a criminal. But the, yes, the government does, yes. But do people in the entire world, do all countries look at you him know, and say you know, he is a criminal? You know, people's opinion doesn't count. Pe people's opinion don't count at all because American government uh, have influence in all, 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 all over the world and but obviously it does count though don't you think I mean think about the fact that Russia is allowing this man to stay in their airport you know there is no point for Vladimir Putin and allow him or offer him a refuge for the rest of him for the rest of his life because in the future Russian relationships uh, could be broken or could be going in, in a bad way and there is no point uh, to risk all reputation or relationship with the United States because of one person just my humble opinion and that's a, that's yes, a totally but, uh, valid Lorraine opinion. Lorraine was asking that uh, can we call him a criminal or not because I, I can think that we can call him a criminal because he have uh, overruled the laws and uh, it's, uh, it is uh, very important that you follow your country law or especially the company uh, for which you are working. You especially obey the laws because uh, maybe there might an agreement between the person and the company that they will follow those rules and regulations and policies etc. Interesting, what do you think, Um, I like to say my opinion closer to the end of class because I don't want anyone to mm -hmm. say what what I just because I think something. So I, I will explain what I think after but that's why I love hearing your opinion, Gibran, and everyone, because you all have totally different perspectives. We are we represent in this classroom everywhere in the world. So um, this is so interesting. So you are saying he has done something against the law. He has done something that betrays his government. That he knew when he did it, this is against the law. And he was so sure it was against the law, this means that it is a criminal thing to do, that he had to leave the United States right away. He knew it was wrong. So you are saying, yes, he's a criminal. Right? Is that what yes, you're saying, Gibran? Sure. Okay. And, and yes, that's, of course. That's, that's totally valid. That's why this is a world debate, because your opinion is totally valid. Um. Because I, was, oh. I was unaware of this story uh, before, and uh, I just listened this uh, in this class <laughs> from you people. <laughs> oh, and Gibran, we can uh, instead of saying "listen," say "I just heard it in this class." Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I remember, I heard. <laughs> yeah, I just heard it. Yeah, good, good, excellent. I just heard it. Um. Okay. Great. So Thanks. I just want to ask Rosal, who's yes. been quiet, Rosal. What do you think about this man now that you have heard what he's done? Do you think that what he did was a good thing, that he should have told the people about this, or no? What do you think? Um, because I don't have more information about him, but just I heard it now. I think uh, if, you, if you work in any company in... In any company, you, you you must respect this law. It's law, it's laws. Okay, so I think uh, he 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 criminal, criminal. He is a criminal. A criminal. Okay, he is a criminal 
because he 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 told uh, the people from the um, company's rule okay the rules okay mm -hmm. so that's not okay okay was and even even this this information is good for people even that you must oh, let's say let's say even if the information is good for people even yes, if even if even if this information is good for people you must don't say this information because because you work in in this company so you must to be to keep all information about this company this interesting is oh that's yeah. awesome Razal so Razal oh, uh, saying if if you if you if you don't uh, if you don't want to to work with this company okay i will leave it but i i don't uh, um speak anything about it this uh, uh, to to people about uh, all information i w i will keep it in my heart i don't uh, speak anything for all companies i work it uh, work in it um this is uh, this is uh, general my my general uh, my general opinion uh, about any people just uh, not just uh, for andro because i i told you i i don't have uh, more information about him mm -hmm. oh and that's okay that's okay razel that's why it's so interesting because some people have heard of it and your immediate opinion i think is important because i have done a lot of research so I, I think I, I, I know a bit about a, a bit more about the case, but your immediate reaction was even if that information you want people to know about it, you think they should no, your duty is to follow the rules of the company you work for or the government you work for. Yes. It okay. Means, are we on the same page, right? <laughs> I think so. I think you, okay. you and Razal are on the same page. Great use of that expression. Okay. Razal, have you heard of that? To be on the same page as someone else? Oh, sorry. I have you? Oh, that's okay. The word on the same page, or the words on the same page. Like, you know how there are pages of a book? Like pages of a book? Yes, yes. yes. We say, if you and someone else have the same opinion, we say you are on the same page. Oh, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, get good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Huyan, we haven't heard about uh, your opinion about this. What are you thinking? Um. Yeah. Um. I was kind of agree with Russell, but Thank you. you know when we are working for a company. And if the company is doing something good or great for the society as a whole, we should, you know, uh, show out uh, our loyalty to that company. But, for example... Okay, oh my um, gosh, Huyen, I am so sorry, but I forget your country. Okay. What country are you from my again? Yeah, Vietnam. Vietnam. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm writing this down. Huyen is from Vietnam because I can't forget again or I will feel so bad. Okay, go on. So you're from Vietnam. Okay. And, okay, go on. Yes. And from my perspective, government should, you know, serve its people. And they should not interfere in its citizens' um, uh, privacy or whatever. And mm -hmm. uh, because the government is doing something wrong here, so I think uh, the fact that um, Rodin is, is that the guy Rodin revealing his name is uh, Snowden. Uh, Ed Snowden, okay, Snowden. So the fact that Snowden re revealing uh, the government secret mm -hmm. um, is uh, how can I say is understandable. So um, I kind of agree with him. Because he's doing something great for for people, and it is against. Uh, but like Huyen, and uh, sorry, I, I forgot to say this earlier. It is also against the law for the government to spy on people, right? Yes. Because so that's a big. Uh, I should have said that earlier. That's a big 
detail, right? Yes. So the government should do something good, and if it's if it's doing something good, Snowden should not reveal anything. But it is doing something wrong, something against the law, something against its citizens. So mm -hmm. you know, helping clear, like helping clearing up the all the information is, I think, is a good thing to do. And, you know, uh, yeah, well, I support him. But but uh, American government. Uh, haven't harmed any Americans by gathering the information. But is it so? Edward Snowden hasn't harmed anyone either. Yeah. Yes, but right. I know for a fact that uh, the U.S., the the United States, always vows that they respect uh, people. They they respect their privacy or something to that to that effect. So they are doing something like against their. Uh, they worked, so yeah, you know the rest. Totally, totally. Um, I just wanted to quickly ask Ampato. Ampato, are you getting to another class right now? Yes. Oh, you are. Okay. Do you have a? Oops. Sorry. Do you have a, a any other closing words you'd like to say, or I guess you're heading to Chad's class now? Yes, I have. Class. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Well, bye, Ampato. Goodbye. Thank you Thanks so much for the great introduction to this bye. topic. Thanks. Okay, bye. Um, okay, yeah. And Huyen, I mean, that's that's um, the dilemma. Um, Lauren? Yeah? Uh, I want to see you goodbye because I have another lecture. Sure, Rosal, okay. no problem. Okay, thank okay. you, Lauren. Bye. bye, see bye. you. And if anyone else needs to go, no problem. I'm going to keep this class mm. going for another 10-15 minutes because I started class late. So I'm going to keep going. But uh, Okay, so Huyan, I totally understand your perspective and that's why this is an international debate. Because there is no clear line as to what was the right and wrong thing to do. Because what is a law? A law is determined by the government, right? And the government has broken its own law, but now it is trying to arrest someone who has broken another law. So at what point do we say, you are wrong, you are right? Can we say that? Right? Um, Actually, um, we can't. We can't say that. Yeah. Alberto. Yeah, that, that's the point. Uh, if if a law is not good, but uh, not good or or bad, uh, it's uh, illegal. No, not illegal. Uh, is it bad? Um, uh, I can I, I don't know how to to say it in English, but there are laws that uh, are against the people, and then that laws uh, are not good. Even, totally. Uh, yeah then uh, you have to go against uh, them totally but, but if you if you do that uh, you are illegal um, and the government and the state uh, go against you and, and it's uh, it's a mess <laughs> but <laughs> you know in the states there and in canada we have a system that if you do something against the law you should have the op and you believe what you did was correct, was okay, okay? Um, to give an example, there was a case in Canada. A, 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 a case means something that went to court, okay, to the justice system. And at this case, a man killed his daughter on purpose. But he killed her because she had such a bad disease and she, her body and her mind were so deformed and she was so sick and she was in so much pain and she had so many operations that he thought, I don't care that the law says I cannot kill her. This is not fair for me to force her to keep living when she is miserable and she is in pain. So he killed her. And the law says, no, you can't do this. But for him, 
his personal morals, he said, no, I don't care what the law said. The law did not work for my daughter. So uh, we're, in terms of this case, at what point should Edward Snowden say, well, the law doesn't work for the people, and I have the power to open their eyes. To uh, This is an expression. It means to reveal a secret. Yeah, the, it, uh, Alberto in the chat says, that's for another class, totally. Yeah, it's a totally, but the, it's the same thing. There's no clear line. Yeah, yeah, about, about the law, yeah. But uh, do you think that in Canada uh, are there no spies or are there no, or in Sweden or in, in all the democratic, the more democratic countries in the, in the world? Do you think so, that there are no uh, spies and there are no uh, investigation uh, about uh, the people? And well, that's the thing, Alberto. If I knew that every internet site I look at, the government is looking at that and judging me, then I think I, I would like to know that. I would yeah, like to know that I am being watched. That makes that makes it that uh, you you have problems to to think about the democracy, the the real democracy in, in all the world. Totally. Great point. Great point, right? There, no, no, it, no. Sad point. Sad point. <laughs> sub point. No, totally. It's a good point. It's a good point. Yes, it is a sub point, but it's a good one, right? But. But we are we are uh, uh, in the in the first world. Uh, we 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 uh, we have to learn in other countries to to grow up uh, in the democracy. But they they see uh, this, and then what mm -hmm. is the, the consequence of, of, of this? Who is uh, able to to learn uh, if if they uh, they see that the teacher the teacher is uh, is doing that? It's so. Do you agree or disagree with uh, what Snowden is doing? Alberto, um, I'm just curious. Alberto, Huyen asked you uh, a question. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I was asking if you agree or disagree with what Snowden did to the United States, because I really don't get your side. I think he he he's right, but uh, he's not a, a hero. He's a piece of the system. Interesting. So you're with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you both are on the same page. Um, I, I just wanted to say, Huyen, you were asking in the chat, what is it called uh, when, you, when you volunteer to die? So um, I just want to say, Andre, the word you said, euthanasia, this is the... This is the word that applies to the story I said before, when the, when the father killed his daughter because she was sick. Euthanasia yeah, yeah. is when you kill someone who uh, I know you what believe, it means. yeah, or, or some other people don't know what it means, so I'm just going to explain quickly. It's when you, when you kill someone because they're, they deserve to die or they want to die because they are sick or maybe they are very, very old and their mind is not working anymore and it is sad to keep them alive there's no reason for them to be alive so you kill them but it is not in a negative like I hate you it is a uh, doing them a favor by killing them but I think the word you're looking for Huyen is a sacrifice oh actually the word I was looking for was uh, euthanasia oh, okay so you, euthanasia Andrew. is not when you volunteer okay Right, because the person does not, the person who is dying uh, often does not have the ability to ask someone to help them die. Often Why their not? brain, sometimes they're, this child, for example, her brain, she was so mentally 
she could not speak. She w she could not hear. Um, she, her body and her mind, nothing really worked. She was, um, she was in a wheelchair and she did not move or anything. Like a vegetable, right? Like a vegetable, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, some people, for example, who suffer from incurable diseases, they can ask their relatives uh, to uh, to get um, to get doctors exactly. to help them down, to help them pass away. Exactly. Good, good. So sometimes there is a person volunteering to die uh, or, or wanting to die and other people help them die. But other times they, you don't know if they want to because maybe they're a vegetable. This is often the case, right? You cannot right. decide. The, the saying is, you can't play God. You can't play God. You can't pretend to play God. Right? You can you cannot yeah. say okay you die you don't die your life is valuable yours is not who it is not your your job to say that um Hamid what were you saying there in the chat and your ideas Miss Walters I mean <laughs> you, what is yeah. your uh, opinion you promised <laughs> <laughs> well um uh, first off Hamid uh, did you have anything else to say on the topic I want to listen. Okay, um, I think I think we're all on the same page. But th the way that I see um, this situation is that I am. It is predicted that the United States government is also looking at Canadians' uh, information, and uh, I am going to be a teacher uh, for for children one day, and. Um, that is what I'm in school for now. And if I am ever in a situation where the government can say, 10 years ago or 5 years ago or last year, you went on this internet site, you spoke to this person, this person is bad, so you lose your job, or whatever that information is used for, it makes me uncomfortable to know that I am being surveillanced. surveillanced. Oh, sorry, like this. Like this, right? So the idea of a government spying on the people, even if they do not use the information to hurt people right now, what is that information going to be used for? I mean, I I understand there are terrorists in society, but not everyone is a terrorist, and I'm just uncomfortable about that that idea. Even Facebook is uncomfortable because anyone in the world can go and look at my life, right? I keep Facebook for my friends and my family who live in different countries. So, but so that idea is is not comfortable and if I am going to say I live in a free country but my government watches over me and sees everything then that is very very bad and I think that I, I don't I don't think of him as a hero but I think that he risked his entire life because he thought this information was so important to people he risked everything right he risked his family's reputation. He risked going to jail for the rest of his life. That's how important he thought this was. And I trust that. He did not gain anything from this. There was no personal reason he told. I, I look at him kind of like a martyr. Do you know this word, a martyr? No. A martyr is someone who risks their own life to help others. So Mother Teresa, right, she would not eat her own food. She would give it to the poor. She was a martyr. Uh, um, Jesus, Jesus Christ is a martyr. He died for everyone else's sins. So sometimes we say, oh, my mother, she is such a martyr because she uh, risked everything to raise me. She 
uh, spend so much money on making sure I had a good life. So I think of him kind of like a martyr. Like, I feel very sorry for him, but I'm so glad that he revealed this information. Like, I am happy for my own reasons that he revealed this information. So, but he, I definitely also see that he kind of is a traitor to his government. So I'm happy what he did, but I understand why the government has to put him in jail. Right? And the government did something wrong here. Why is no one, why does, why don't, why don't people pay attention to that? The government is doing something wrong. Right? What do you guys think of that? Because yeah, it because is doing something wrong, and the only way the government gets away with it because is having power in his hand. So. Yeah, exactly. What were you gonna say, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, you know that people consider it like or, or, like bad or a good action uh, it doesn't matter for government you know and to fight with the government it's like fighting with the uh, with a windmill right mm -hmm. does totally. it make sense yeah to fight it totally with the does windmill? Mm -hmm. yeah because y you can't stop it you are one man I totally know, I, I understand what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, and so that's what I mean. He's a martyr. He, he has sacrificed his entire life to help people. Um, okay, I, I have to end class now, um, but uh, Huyan, I totally will. If you ever have a topic that you think is controversial like this, please suggest it, because I think they're awesome to talk about. No religion, no politic. <laughs> Why not? They're interesting. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's difficult uh, to discuss uh, with uh, with another cultures about uh, politics or, or religion. I think so. I think you know, Alberto. I think if everyone is extremely respectful, yeah, right. Sure. We we talked about t Turkey. The the um um the protesting in Turkey. Yeah, yeah. And were yeah. you there? In the were you at that class? Hamid. Hamid was Hamid there. Was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Think. And Hamid, do you remember how people were, um, people, there, some people were saying the people in Turkey are making up an excuse. This is not about environmentalism. They are being silly. And then the people who are from Turkey were like, no, but the conversation was so respectful that two opposing sides could speak about it for an entire hour and a half. We spoke for one hour and a half about this and there was no fighting. It's just this kind of, we say this kind of dialogue, I and think is important, it. right? Yeah. Right? Yes. No, it's, it's... You are right, but uh, we cannot predict the future. I mean, some people uh, come and they can be rude so uh, we should be careful. Totally. But if anyone is ever rude, I will make sure that um, that I kick them out of class. Yes, I will. I think it's <laughs> interesting to know everybody's perspective, so you can mm -hmm. do anything. Yeah, totally. The, the, the subject is is too interesting, but uh, it's. Uh, uh, dangerous uh, theme because uh, because of the different culture uh, I, I I said but uh, we are we all the all the all the students and all the teacher in Berlin I, I think uh, that uh, we are uh, we have uh, nice enough co education to, to discuss uh, peacefully. Totally. And, and you know, one time in class someone was a little bit rude and I just said, oh, that's not how we have our discussions here. If You have to be respectful. And uh, they started typing bad things in the chat, so I just kicked them out of class. <laughs> that's what happens, right? And if you're not respectful and you can't act like an adult, then <laughs> I'm <Yes>. very mean. <laughs> I, I, I would do the same. Thank you for the popcorn. What? 
I'm not adult. Oh, you're not an adult, right. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> I have to go right now, but thank you all for an awesome class. I hope that you start, that I, I, as I say, I hope that this got the wheels turning in your mind, that oh, you're thinking. Story. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. All righty. See you, you later, such everyone. An amazing mm -hmm. class. Oh, you're so welcome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Thank you guys. If you like talking about these things, come to my intermediate speaking class later today. This is it's a, later on a different today. Topic. Wow. <laughs> I will move to. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. <laughs>